can't he see that himself? <laughs> Maybe the reason you don't see it is that it's stuck to your back. <laughs> what I mean is, a person's admirable qualities. They're just like, say, a pickled plum on a rice ball. In other words, the person's the rice ball and the plum stuck to their back. So, all over the world, you could have rice balls made with all sorts of wonderful ingredients, all different flavors and shapes and colors. But since they'd be stuck in the middle of everyone's back, someone could have a plum and not even know it. They'd look at themselves and think, I'm so plain, nothing but white rice, even though it isn't true. Because turn them around and sure enough, there it is. There's the plum. So if someone is jealous of somebody else, well then, it's probably because it's easier to see the plum on someone else's back than it is on your own. Yep, I can see it. I can see it very clearly, Kyo. You don't know it, but you have a great big plum on your back. Yuki's admirable in his way, and you're admirable in yours. <laughs> okay, now that's definitely the dumbest thing I ever heard. And what's so great about a stinking plum, anyway? Oh, I'm sorry. We can change it to salmon if you want. Uh. Excuse me, I guess I left the kettle on the stove. Hey. Huh? You've got one, too. I mean, stuck to your back. There's a plum. <laughs> I... I can see it. You can see it? Yeah, but it's really small, like a baby plum. <laughs> baby plums are delicious. No, it's way, way tiny. Right. You know, no, I, I mean, suppose right like now there could plum. be people who are feeling I mean, jealous, but who don't realize the qualities they envy in other people are the very same ones they already have. When you think about it that way, it sort of makes you want to try harder, just a little bit harder, at being yourself. And so here we are, the day of the cultural festival. Hey, what are you doing? It's still crooked. No one's gonna notice anything so small, cat lover. <laughs> yeah, you're just being finicky. That's uh, right, cat lover. It's only gotta last one day. Uh, what's the deal with all this cat lover crap? You trying to make fun of me or something? Ah, uh, we got you figured out. You talk tough, but deep down you're just a gentle guy who loves animals. Oh. Hey, knock it off, will ya? For the last time, those weren't even my cat. I guess it's a cat. good thing they don't really have it figured out. Why is it every time Orange Shut Tops up, around I get a headache? You know? Hey, well, at least this time, time he's trying to help, which Just for him up, is pretty rare. I don't know. You have your way, Yuki, and Kyo has his. That's all. <laughs> oh, Yuki! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Guess what? We have a surprise for you, Yuki. It's a present. All the senior girls chipped in and bought it. We thought it would be the greatest thing if you could wear it today. Uh, where? Ta-da! A one-of-a-kind festival day costume, just for you, Yuki! <laughs> Hi! Rice balls! Rice, Rice balls! Ball. Buy three, get one free! Thank you. Wow, they're selling like crazy! We're on track for first in the food category! I think we have all the delicious stuff Toru made to thank for that. Oh no, don't be silly. And I just love these cat-shaped ones. Thanks, but I don't think they're really what's attracting everyone to our booth, you know? Oh, wow, look at Yuki! Isn't he cute? That's it! Stop! No more pictures! No, Yuki doesn't no, like no, it! No, yeah, that goes for you too, good sister! Good point, he is definitely in the track, uh -huh. I suppose we couldn't ask for better advertising, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope I haven't done anything to make Yuki mad at me. He looks upset. Oh, don't worry about huh? it. My guess is it's more embarrassment than he can stand having to dress up like that. I mean, he's already got a big enough complex over that girly face of his. Yuki! <laughs> Yuki, you look like a girl. What the hell? What is that little brat doing here? Oh, that's someone you know then? Momiji, you're not to go running off by yourself. Yuki, Kyo, I see you're both looking well. Hattori! Who's that? <laughs> so cool, so cute, Yuki! Hi there, I'm Momiji Soma, and this guy here with me is Hattori Soma. And yeah, we're two of Yuki and Kyo's relatives. Oh, how cool! Oh, 
Is that right? That's right, but never mind, Mamiji. What's that bastard Hattori doing here? So, if they're related, I wonder if they're part of the Zodiac, too. All right. Now take a deep breath. Hattori's a doctor. So why is he here? Couldn't we have found a better time for this? We did. We had an appointment. You should know you can't skip your monthly checkup. Checkup? Yuki, why would you need a checkup? Is there something wrong? Uh, sort of. Yuki's bronchial tubes are fairly sensitive. He used to suffer from frequent asthma attacks when he was a child. It's a condition he's gradually growing out of. But we'd like to be sure. I'm assuming you're Toru Honda. Uh, yes, nice to meet you. Indeed. I didn't expect you'd be such an ordinary girl. What? Hattori! Ah! Don't! You can't climb on the stairs! What do you think you're doing, you little runt? Uh, excuse me, I keep get off. my help. Just get, get off the table! Stop it! I'm Why did you have to come here? You, you can off. save your complaints for Akita. It was his idea. Of course, he originally planned to come himself. <laughs> he was running another one of his fevers, so I made him stay home. Doctor's orders. As a result, he sent me here in his place. And since I was already looking after Momiji for the day, he naturally had to come with me. Is this what you call looking after him? Just be grateful we came late and there were fewer people here. I know why you're tense. Don't be. I didn't come for this Toru Honda today. Whether or not I do in the future is still for Akito to decide. 